Hello everyone. Today I'll talk about the fifth member of the Spectator Club, Will Honeycomb. And Richard Steele describes him as a vibrant, enthusiastic, colorful and a dandy personality. But that our society may not appear a set of humorists unacquainted with the gallantries and pleasures of the age, we have amongst us the gallant Will Honeycomb. A gentleman who, according to his heirs, should be in the decline of his life, but having ever been very careful of his person and always had a very easy fortune, time has made but a very little impression, either by wrinkles on his forehead or traces on his brain. So, Mr. Spectator says that you must not think that our club consists of all sort of boring persons because we have a merchant who is too much dedicated in commercial values we have a army man who is too honest and who is too shy we have a baronet sir rosa de Covale. so mr spectator says that you must not think that our society or our club consists of all sort of boring personalities we also have among us a person who is very colourful, who is dandy personality and his name is Will Honeycomb and although he is aged, although he is in decline of his years, although he is not that young but because of his good fortune, because of his easy life, time has made a time you could say Time has made but a very little impression. Okay, you if you'll notice Will Honeycomb, you can clearly notice that, or you won't notice any wrinkles on his face or traces on his brain. So Will Honeycomb, although he is old, but wrinkles or traces can't be noticed on his face. Now his person is well turned and of a good height. He is very ready at that sort of discussion with which men usually entertain women. Now, Will Honeycomb basically likes to talk about the females. About the, f He is actually interested in the feminine world. <clears throat> he is very ready at that sort of discourse with which men usually entertain women. Okay. So he has all his life dressed very well and remembers habits as others do men. So he's really fond of wearing expensive clothes and he's very much concerned about the fashion sense. He can smile when one speaks to him and laughs easily. He knows the history of every mood and can inform you from which of the French king's wenches our wives and daughters had this manner of curling their hair. Okay, now he is well aware of because he's interested in females so he also has a deep knowledge of fashion history okay he knows that when this fashion of curling your hair started or which french king's lover started this fashion their way of placing their hoods why the hoods were introduced or who was the first person who was the first female to add this hoods to her dress whose frailty was covered by such a sort of petticoat why petticoats were included and whose vanity to show her foot made the that part of the dress so short in such a hair and also he was well aware of why short dresses became so famous within such a short period of time in a word all his conversation and knowledge have been in the female world so in the crux you can say that because he was interested in all the in all sort of conversations related to female that's why he had deep knowledge of fashion history also okay as other men of his age will take notice to you what such a minister said upon such and such occasion, he will tell you when the Duke of Monmouth danced at court, such a woman was then smitten, another was taken with him at the head of his troop in the park. 
Duke of Monmouth was the illegitimate son of Charles II and he also rebelled against his legitimate son James II. Okay. So, Mr. Spectator says that a normal man will talk about normal proceedings, about normal things like you can notice if a man is not interested in females, he'll talk about some news, he'll talk about any minister, what minister or what king said on such a such occasion. But because Will Honeycomb was interested in females, he noticed that which woman was affected when the Duke of Monmouth danced at the court. Okay. He used to notice only women's. He used to notice their deeds. He used to notice what women's were interested in. So all his mind was concentrated on the female world. In all these important relations, he has ever about the same time received a kind glance or a blow of a fan from some celebrated beauty, mother of the present lot, such a one. He even received some of these sort of glances. He even received some attention from these women. If you speak of a young commoner that said a lively thing in the house, he starts up. He has a good blood in his veins. Tom Mirabel begot him. The rogue cheated me in that affair. That young fellow's mother used me more like a dog than any woman I ever made advances to. So Will Honeycomb used to, if any young person used to say anything, then Will Honeycomb was quick enough to make some remarks on that young man like his mother cheated me or he was son of such a such man. So this way of talking of his very much enlivens the conversation among us of a more sedate turn. Now Mr. Spectator says that his company is really enjoyed by all of us because he, Mr. Spectator says that we all are very sedate or we all are very serious sort of persons. But Will Honeycomb, his presence and his talk enlives, enlivens us. It entertains us and we all become enthusiastic. And I find there is not one of the company but myself who really speak at all but speak of him as of that sort of man who is usually called a well-bred fine gentleman. So overall you can conclude that Will Honeycomb was also a wealthy man. He was well-bred. He was a gentleman. Yes, he was enthusiastic but his enthusiasm was, yes, his, and his enthusiasm was too much relating to the feminine world. And to conclude his character, where women are not concerned, he is an honest, worthy man. And finally, Mr. Spectator makes it clear that although he is an honest man, but if he talks about women, if he talks about their deeds, then you can think that he is not actually right agar koi bhi women ki baat aati hai tab aap samajh sakte hain ki will honeycomb sahi nahi bol rahe hain agar women ke alawa koi bhi baat ho to aap maan sakte hain ki ye sahi bol rahe hain so this was the character of will honeycomb i think it's clear to you will honeycomb jo the wo group mein you could say bahut hi alag aur zyada tar unki jo baatein hoti thi wo females pe based hoti thi women's pe adharit hoti thi फैशन का उन्हें सेंस था फैशन की हिस्ट्री का उन्हें बहुत डीप नॉलेज था जो फैशन है कर्ल करना है उसको वाई पेटी कोट्स व इंट्रोड्यूस्ड और शॉर्ट ड्रेसेस क्यों फेमस हुई कब फेमस हुई तो ये कब कब स्टार्ट हुआ इनके स्टार्ट करने के पीछे कौन था कौन सी औरत थी कौन सी फीमेल थी तो ये सारा नॉलेज विल हनी कॉम को था ओके एंड नॉर्मल जो पर्सनस थे वो एक नॉम दूसरी बातें या इन नॉर्मल बातों पे ध्यान देते थे जैसे कि किसी भी ओकेजन पे किसी मिनिस्टर ने कौन सी बात कही लेकिन विल हनी कॉम जो थे वो फीमेल्स पर ध्यान देते थे एंड उनकी जो कॉन्वर्सेशन थी वो ये ध्यान रखते थे कि जब कोई ड्यूक ऑफ मोन माउथ 
ने जब कोर्ट में डांस किया था तो कौन सी वुमेन सबसे ज़्यादा इफेक्टेड हुई थी ओके सो दिस वॉज योर कैरेक्टर ऑफ विल हनी थैंक यू